So you just bought a brand new laptop, but you've been using an external hard drive this whole time. So now you want to move all your music using Serato, put it on your internal hard drive on your laptop. Hmm. I got you. All right, guys. So this is how this is going to work. Now, let's say you have all of your music on your external hard drive. This is my external hard drive here. I'm going to do a quick, oh, well, I wouldn't say it's quick because the process is quick, but the explanation is not. All right. So you have all your music on your hard drive sitting right here. You click on that, right? Then you go into it and you have your Serato and your Serato backup files. Now, these two, these two folders are very important, all right? And they're more important than you think. You need to copy these two files and put them exactly where they were on your external hard drive, on your new internal hard drive. So for instance, if you have music on your C drive, bring that over here. This is my this is my uh, second drive here. All right. So let's say you have all of your music. On your internal on your, on your external drive on the drive itself meaning I will go to my my e drive no my B drive sorry so let's say your name is DJ hit now if your Serato and your Serato backup are on that hard drive like how it says here on that B drive, your B drive is your external drive. Don't even look at PC. Your your B drive is your external drive, which is be your C drive. I mean your external drive. Now you go into hit, you have Serato, Serato backup, and these files right here, these four, for all intents and purposes, are where your music is stored. Alright? Now, this is where a lot of confusion comes in because this is how I got caught up all right now you want to make sure that all of your music and your Serato files your DJ hit folder are all placed back in the correct order so let's say this is your folder and your folder is on your external drive and then you click into it and that's all of your music meaning you don't have any music outside of this of this DJ hit folder right if you have files on the outside of this DJ hit folder and they're saved into your Serato playlist meaning that your playlist here all right you literally have to put these files back exactly where they were you cannot put these files on the inside of this now of this folder serato will not recognize them it will look like this they will all be red okay now i'm trying to save you guys some headache because trust me it happened to me i moved all my stuff over and i didn't understand as much as I understand how computers and everything work, I didn't understand or it wasn't explained that you had to move these files back in the exact order. Because when Serato saves saves their um saves your Serato files and it backs up everything, it is copying exactly what you have done or where these files are. Okay? So if you don't have any files on the outside of this DJ hit folder, then you're good to go. All right. You can take this folder, copy it and paste it 
on your new hard drive, your internal drive, which it would look something like this. You would take it, you will copy it. I would not suggest cutting it. Do not cut. Please don't cut because if something goes wrong, your hard drive goes bad or God forbid something happens, you're going to lose a chunk of your music. Okay. That's just how it is. So just copy it and bring it over. Don't drag and drop it either. Just copy it. Go over to the new hard drive. Go to PC. If it's on your C drive. And this is the most important part. You want to put that new folder right here. Boom. You're done. Now, if you have music on the outside, like I said before, on the outside of this DJ hit folder, all of those music folders and files, music, I don't care what it is. If it's videos, if it's music, pictures, whatever that you're using in Serato, if they're outside of this DJ hit folder, it has to be put on the outside of this DJ hit folder, which means it should look something like this. That's what it should look like. Okay, so all of this, all these files are the files that are outside of this folder on your external drive. So you will copy and paste, like I said, if it's like this. All right, this is all your music. This is your Shirato backup, all that good stuff. You come back to your hard drive, your internal drive, and whatever is left over on the outside of that DJ hit folder, you need to now put on the outside of it on your C drive. All right, I hope that helps. Um, it took me a while to figure that out. Uh, I probably should have figured it out a whole lot sooner than I did, but you know, sometimes it takes a while to learn stuff. <laughs> Anyways, all right, guys, I hope that helps. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions at all, um, hit me up in the comments. Uh, love to hear from you guys, and I will have more videos like this coming up shortly. I got another couple of them to do with Serato, like how to make your um, how to make your your BPM show up when it doesn't show up. All right, like sometimes it'll be white and it'll be blank, and you won't have any you won't have any BPMs, you won't have any keys, you won't have any anything like that. All right, I'm gonna show you guys a quick, simple way to figure all that stuff out, and it is so simple. You're going to laugh when you see it. All right, guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Smile.